And our first questions for Jermaine will come from Chip and Mike Griffith. All right, Jermaine, that was quick. I wasn't ready, man. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Sorry, trying to get the sound right a little bit. I can't hear you that well. Can you hear me? Check. One, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll okay. Uh, there you go. Jermaine, yeah, yeah, getting ready for this Missouri team, um, what are your impressions? It looks like they're um, a team that's kind of cranked it up from an offensive standpoint. And uh, obviously you guys are going to be going over there to their house and probably going to be pretty chilly, uh, as I understand mm -hmm. it, on Saturday too. Uh, just what do you mm -hmm. make of that challenge? Uh, I mean, we know they're a team. They're kind of on a roll right now. Uh, they got a good thing going over there. Um, uh, Coach Smart told us all about that. But, I mean, just like every other week, got a game plan, go practice it, and then go out on Saturday and execute it. As for the weather, um, control, we can control, and just go out there and play the best we can. Jermaine, you got uh, you got some experience in cold weather. Um, if, if your teammates ask you for advice, because I know a lot of them don't like cold weather, what what is what is the secret? What is your advice, and how do you deal with cold weather games? I mean, for me, uh, it was always just getting the first play out the way, the first couple plays out the way, and then after that, it's all a mental game. Just just put it in the back of your head, and then you'll be good. I mean, it's going to be cold, but it's it's just one of the things you can't control. That you can't let it, you know, beat you. Let's go to Seth and then Mark. I mean, um, let me put you in the role of a defensive coordinator. Um, when it comes to sacks, you all are up as a team. You are personally too. QB pressures are up. Um, how effective do you think that is for the overall defense, though? Is it is too much put in just sacks? Is or is it about as much importance you think put on getting them? I mean, I think I think we just, as a, as a room, as a unit, especially as a defense, our guys, I mean, we want to get after the quarterback. I feel like last year we didn't get home as much as we wanted to and as much as we could have. Um, so this year, I mean, it's just an overall thing in the defensive room, uh, just, just make an emphasis to get home and work on what you need to work on to make that happen. And, I know in, in our room specifically, uh, I mean, we, we all get excited for one another when, when we get home and it just makes the next one of us want to go out there and do it too. So uh, I just think that uh, our defense did a good job this year so far, um, just getting home to the quarterback and, and wreaking havoc back there because it makes any offense have problems. And I think when you have guys like, like we do in our room and also other rooms to, that can go back there and affect the quarterback, just makes the, the defense defense's uh, job a whole lot easier. I mean, this isn't my real question, but just a really quick one. What's the worst weather you ever played uh, in, in Minnesota? Uh, man, I'd say you're probably not going to know any of these schools, but uh, I think it was my senior year uh, or junior year of high school when we played prior late. And um, uh, I don't know. They almost canceled the game because it was so cold, and that rarely happens in Minnesota. We we go to school with like zero degrees still, so it was pretty cold outside. I remember we're out there for like five minutes, and my my toes already went numb. You can't feel yourself running. Uh, you're kicking around snow, so it, I'd have to say maybe like zero. It felt like negative eighteen, if I can remember right. All right, I'll, I'll pass on the second one since that was a, a long answer, but thank you. All right, let's go to Jake and then Brandon. Uh, Jermaine, I asked Kirby about this, but um, in, in terms of like quiet teammates, guys who don't speak up very often, a guy that you may not hear talk, but maybe once every couple of days in practice, uh, what's your thoughts on guys like that? I'm sure you've played with a few at junior college in Georgia. What do those guys tend to be like as players, as workers, and and you know, kind of what's what what's your first impression when you're out there practicing with a guy or working out with him for weeks and you don't hear him talk? Uh, my experience is there's some guys that are vocal leaders and there's some guys that lead by example and there's some guys that do both. And um, I mean, it's just, it's just part of who they are. I think um, it's definitely a skill to develop to be able to do both. Um, but some guys, you know, they just do one right now and that's perfectly fine. But I mean, it, 
whether you do one or the other or both, I mean, people are going to see that and they're going to react good. And I think either way, it's a good thing to have, thing to have uh, by a teammate. Hey, uh, Jermaine, I kind of wanted to ask you, like, the like the bigger pic- picture question here as your career kind of um, comes to an end at Georgia. So I remember um, knowing your story about, you know, your family, how you wanted to come here for them and your relationship with uh, – coach landing and everything. I mean, as you kind of wrap it up and look back on that, do you feel like you have achieved your personal goals? You came to the right spot. Uh, I feel like I did. I, I love, I mean, come to the University of Georgia. I mean, I, I'd probably do it all the same again. Um, I loved it here. And I feel like me and my coaches get along very well. And my family, all they keep talking about is, is how great uh, the G is and, and having that all over the clothes and, you know, having people stopping and seeing them all over the country and, and talking about the Georgia symbol that they're wearing. Um, but in terms of me, yeah, I feel like I, I've done pretty well here. Um, some things could have went a little better, but I mean, you can't get everything your way, but um, just take advantage of your opportunities and, and make the most of it. Let's go to Connor and then Bailey. Hey, Jermaine, when you commit to a school, when you committed to Georgia and you had to talk to those other coaches what uh, that you weren't going to their school, what were those conversations like and what were the coaches sort of like after you had made your decision? Uh, if I can remember right, Georgia came in pretty early and um, they're always recruiting me pretty hard and I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm big about loyalty and stuff like that and, and for a big program like Georgia to come after me so early on. Um, it was kind of all I really needed. And um, I just told the coaches that uh, they kind of, you know, just had, had my heart from the beginning. And um, I just I just went with uh, what my heart wanted to do. And um, I mean, you can't really get mad at a recruit for, for an answer like that. So they just wishing me the best. And um, yeah. Hey, Jermaine, Kirby was just telling us that you're a really good leader in practice and stuff. And I'm just wondering sort of how you've developed that skill and how you say you've grown as a leader. Uh, I mean, I mean, it started at junior college. Uh, my defensive uh, coordinator, Coach Martin, he, he would always say fake enthusiasm brings real enthusiasm because it's easy, you know, in week 10, 11, 12, you, you just get in a slump and you get tired. They want to be there sometimes. So you just go out there and you, even if it's fake enthusiasm, people will feed off that and then the team will, will be in an up and up and everybody will want to practice. You make practice fun and you just make sure people want to be there. Keep a smile on your face and just it's, it's not all it's not all business. Sometimes you got to bring the fun into it because you got to remember that's a lot of that's a big reason why people fell in love with the game. So just keep fun in it. People will react good. And hey, let's go to William for one last question. Hey, Jermaine, uh, you know, do you think that the timing of this postponement um, against Vanderbilt was especially bad given the momentum you guys were bringing into that game after your past two wins? And, you know, talking about, well, like, energy at practice, how do you how do you keep that up after having to, uh, you know, kind of reset? Uh, all, all the coaches talk about is con- control what you can control. Green light, red light. Green light is the things you can control. Red light is what you can't. So just go and control what you can and, uh, yeah, it got canceled. We're kind of bummed out, but uh, you got to look at the positive side. Body gets a rest, and we got a very good opponent on Saturday, so we're ready for them and uh, go out there and execute. Jermaine, thank you for your time. We'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you guys. See you.